Welcome to Friendly AI. I'm your host, Michelangelo, and I'm in love with a piece of plastic. And I ain't talking about no plastic pussy. I'm in love with the PlayStation 4 controller. I wasn't a huge fan of the DualShock 3 controller, but this one has so many improvements. My thumbs don't touch when I'm using the joysticks. The distance is perfect, I think, between the two. And I love the pits, so my thumbs don't slip off. I like the pointy triggers. They're longer. I like them. And I also like the longer handles, where my little poor pinky doesn't cramp up. I also love the little speaker and the default setting cranked to max, so when it does go off, my inner thighs simulate a tsunami. The touchpad is very responsive and fun to use. I like to click it. Overall, it's just way more ergonomic. So why am I making this video? I've got some mental problem. What about the power charge cycle on this controller? Eh, not so good. I'm always charging this thing. Am I crazy? Are you guys experiencing this problem? I have it set so it automatically turns off after 10 minutes of no use and I still have to constantly charge this thing. Now the PS3 controller, I didn't have to charge that for like a whole week, probably on average 20 hours, but this Riri, this thing goes out five to six hours. What is it about this controller? Is it the blue light? Thankfully, someone asked Shuei Yoshida on Twitter if they will ever have a firmware update so you can turn this blue light off to save battery power. Shuei Yoshida replied, no. Shuei Yoshida is a very busy man and only can give one word answers. Here's a picture of him sleeping. When for the question, Shuei Yoshida replied and said, LEDs do not use much battery power. And he's absolutely correct, they technically don't. So the mystery continues, what is it about this controller? You people are smart. Maybe you could let me know in the comment section below. Do you think Shuei Yoshida is telling the truth? I really think it's just some hardware issue and it can't be solved with a firmware update. And unfortunately, we might have to wait for the new version of this controller to come out to fix this issue. I mean, it could be a combination of the light, the speaker, the rumble inside, or the trackpad that is always waiting to be touched, much like ourselves. Or it might just be a shitty battery pack. It could be as simple as that. A shit pack. Listen, I don't want to start a flame war. I've been in way too many flame wars in my YouTube lifespan. Xbox One controller has its issues, but right now I want to talk about this. I mean, I could buy an extra long charge cable, but you know what? I like playing wirelessly now, and I don't want to go backwards. I don't want to go back to dating ugly girls. <laughs> I'll leave a link in the description below to Shuei Yoshida's tweet. Speaking of tweets, where's my baby boy? Oh, there he is, on time for once, thank God. You can follow me on Twitter, no pressure, don't have to do it now. I'll keep you up to date with my videos and of course, gaming news. Thank you for watching and if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Perhaps we could start a string art society. Murder me! I like the pointy tringers. <clears throat> I wonder what the neighbors think. Fuck ye!